I'm not going to label it correctly here, but this contact time, you know, this notion of making it a, a repeated practice of spending time with customers to develop that empathy and get a better idea of what is going on for them. Ideally, so you can make decisions that are going to serve them better and therefore increase revenue or profitability or whatever it is that the business cares about. That seems to me that the programs that do that without necessarily a direct correlation back to a metric rely somewhat on executive belief. Yes. There has to be some, there has to be, well, this is my assumption, has to be some sponsor or someone that's willing to go out on a limb here and actually commit the resources, particularly on a global scale, to make something like that a reality. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the, I suppose the most, I'm going to use the word brave here, the most brave design or customer-led leaders doing that is enabling the rest of the executive to believe in that like is, is there how are they selling this basically is the question <laughs> i'm curious about like how do you get something like that across the line when there's no direct tie back to the right. bottom line i know I, and absolutely you're right in that many of these initiatives that are broader about building this you know connection with a customer are absolutely executive led um every single one that i've been engaged with to answer your question on some of the best business leaders, I'd say, uh, you know, Satya Nadella at uh, Microsoft. I mean, he's a huge believer in empathy, not only in his you know personal life, but also in building customer empathy as a business because it just helps you be more innovative and meet those unmet customer needs. And there's no way you can identify those if you're not getting exposed to customers and building that customer empathy. So I would say he's the current leader that I that I kind of look to uh, in his viewpoint of, of how he talks about this. And I mean, of course, there's been other leaders, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, both of which aren't running those companies anymore, obviously. But, you know, they also had that very sort of customer obsessed approach, starting with the customer and working backwards or being customer obsessed. And, you know, it's interesting. It's funny when I was thinking about writing the book, I... I thought about having the title be beyond lip service because I think that many executives talk about the importance of customer centricity. And yes, we're investing in customer experience. It's a you know, competitive battlefield and it's how we're going to differentiate ourselves. But when you go actually talk to teams and you ask them like, how customer centric are you? I mean, we, we know this because we survey people annually at user testing and just the disconnect between what executives are saying and what's actually happening is like staggering. And so, you know, when you ask me who, who are the best leaders that are doing this, you know, the, again, the one I know of is Satya and, you know, some of the others that did this well, but there are so many that are saying it, but not actually investing in it or doing anything about it or empowering people to do anything about it.